Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honourable estate, instituted of God himself, signifying unto us the mystical union that is betwixt Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee, and is commended in holy writ to be honourable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be enterprised, nor taken in hand unadvisedly, lightly or wantonly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly, and in the fear of God, duly considering the causes for which matrimony was ordained. First, it was ordained for the increase of mankind, according to the will of God, and that children might be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord, and to the praise of his holy name. Secondly, it was ordained in order that the natural instincts and affections implanted by God should be hallowed and directed aright, that those who are called of God to this holy estate should continue therein in pureness of living. Thirdly, it was ordained for the mutual society, help and comfort that the one ought to have of the other, both in prosperity and adversity, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. Russell and Rebecca, I require and charge you both, as he will answer at the dreadful day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any impediment why ye may not lawfully be joined together in holy matrimony, ye do now confess it. For be ye well assured that so many as are coupled together otherwise than God's word doth allow are not joined together by God, neither is their matrimony lawful. We now continue with the um, singing of the first hymn on your order of service, Be Still for the Presence of the Lord. <coughs>
the congregation like to sit for the Russell, wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife to live together according to God's law in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honour and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live? I will. Rebecca, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband, to live together according to God's law in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honour and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live? Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> I, Russell, take thee, Rebecca. I, Russell, take thee, Rebecca. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death. <laughs> According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my troth. And thereto I give thee my troth. I, Rebecca, take thee, Russell. Rebecca. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Love and to cherish. Till death us do part. According to God's holy will. According to God's holy will. And thereto I give thee my crown. And thereto I give thee my crown. Bless, O Lord, these rings, which we bless in thy name, that they who wear them, keeping true faith unto one another, may abide in peace and according to thy will, and ever live in mutual love, through Christ our Lord. This ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. With my body I thee honour. With thy body I thee honour. And all my worldly goods. And all my worldly goods. With thee I share. With thee I share. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. With my body, I be honoured. With my body, I be honoured. And all my wealthy goods. And all my wealthy goods. With thee, I share. With thee, I share. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon these thy servants, this man and this woman, whom we bless in thy name, that living faithfully together they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant betwixt them made, whereof these rings given and received are a token and pledge and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy laws, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Russell and Rebecca have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and thereto have given and pledged their troth either to other and have declared the same by giving and receiving of rings and by joining of hands, I pronounce that they be man and wife together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favour look upon you, and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace, that ye may so live together in this life, that in the world to come, ye may have life everlasting. Amen. We go up to the altar for the prayers. We're going to sing the next hymn on your service sheet, which is, O Lord my God.
My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, 
and come away. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If one offered for love all the wealth of one's house, it would be utterly scorned. Okay, well, first of all, congratulations, well done, You've got this far. <laughs> okay. um, before I say anything else, just a, a, um, a couple of things to mention. One is the rules on confetti, because everyone wants to know, well, there aren't really any rules about confetti, um, as long as it's not inside, because then someone has to sweep it up. But as long as it's outside, throw as much confetti as you like. So I hope we've brought some. And um, the other thing is, if you would like to make a donation towards the upkeep of the church, um, there's no one stopping you doing that. And I think we've got one of our church wardens here in the congregation, so I'm sure he will put a, a suitable plate uh, at the back of the church um, for, for when you leave. But that's less important than the most important thing. Um, we just heard that beautiful passage from the Song of Songs, or the Song of Solomon. Now, people read all sorts of things into the Song of Songs. People take it in an allegorical way. This is like the love of, between God and, the, and his people. But, very, very simply, the purpose of that little book being in the Bible is to celebrate the love and affection between man and woman. That this is a God-given gift and something for human beings to enjoy. And we've just heard that passage, the winter is past and the rains are over and gone. Might have been read with a little bit of irony. <laughs> but the thing is, when you have a wedding on a rainy day, you will certainly remember it very well. Okay? <laughs> but. Uh, but after that, it says, I mean, this is a celebration of love and summertime and, and the burgeoning forth of uh, the beauty of the earth. The vegetable, the veg, you know, the, the, the flowers and everything, the fig tree forms its early fruit. And it also mentions, appropriately, that music and singing are heard. Well, we've heard plenty of that today, but of course, can't forget that um, yeah, with marriage of two musicians. So, unless you regard music as a sort of simply a job, I'm sure there'll be plenty of music in the house as well, and um, that you, it will be music with your children. I've um, had that pleasure of uh, having a, a musical family, and uh, never, never very far from it. So, um, we pray for your, the children that you will bring up. I'm sure they'll be great musicians too. There'll be much singing um, in your house, which is something, another of, of God's gifts to humanity. That we can enjoy music. God has made us in his image and you say well, how can we possibly be in God's image? Well there are certain things that make us reflect the nature of God. One is creativity just for the sake of creation and our ability to make music is part of that creativity. Celebrating that making music is, a, is a, an act of creation, a sharing with God in his work. So all music is praising God, really. And the other thing is that we have that capacity as human beings for sacrificial, self-giving love. And really, a marriage is a celebration of that. We are promising to share everything with each other to look after each other in all circumstances. Remember the words, can't forget them, in sickness and health, the richer, the poorer, in the good times and the bad times, be a support for each other. You've made a promise to do that for each other. And the last thing to say is, that's not just an ordinary promise, 
you've made it in front of witnesses, lots of witnesses, but you've made it before God. And the last thing to say is that marriage for Christians is a sacrament. And a sacrament is a channel of God's grace, and God's grace is the help that he gives to live as his people. And he, through this sacrament that we celebrate today, gives you the grace of living together, the grace that will support you in your marriage. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, um, I'm going to sign the registers. In the meantime, I think we're going to have some music. More music, yes. <laughs>
Let us pray. O Almighty Lord and everlasting God, vouchsafe we beseech thee to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments, that through thy most mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you. 